we're back on the roof. So we got a no heat call. Uh, this is actually second opinion. I guess another company came out and said they need to replace it. So uh, we're going to see if it needs to be replaced or not or if we can fix it. So here we go. So let's see. Motor's running. Filters are not terrible. I mean, they could be replaced. There's actually these are supposed to be two inches. So let's go ahead and check the electrical panel and see what's up. Alrighty then, so looks like we got uh, a light going on. So we got one, two, three, three flashes. So according to that, pressure switch problem. Man, it's been pressure switch, pressure switch season, geez. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and find the pressure switch and check it out, maybe it's just dirty. That burner compartment is nasty. Yeah, so got a pressure switch, so make sure it's all hooked up, no holes, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power to reset that error code, and then we're gonna go ahead and check the pressure switch. What we're doing here is we're checking to make sure that it's actually open, because it should be normally open, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear out the tube. All right. So here's the pressure switch. Uh, that end is a little, right there, it's a little jaggedy, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and test it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hose on, suck on, and see if it closes. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and see if this thing closes. Yep, seems to be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that nipple in the inducer and get that cleared out. We're getting a call for heat, but the inducer's not coming on, but I am getting amps. So it seems like it might be stuck. And I'm getting that pressure switch error, so. Go ahead and see if I can get it to move. And then we're gonna check that run cap because it does have a run capacitor. Alrighty. Well, it's not locked up, so that's good. We're gonna check that run cap. All right. So that's supposed to be a three. I'm getting 42 point something on there. So something's up with that capacitor. I'm gonna go see if I have one on the truck, but uh, that could be our problem. That's, that's, I have never seen that. It's a brand new meter, so it shouldn't be giving me a wrong number. I, when I when I if I have a three, I'm gonna test the new one and see what's up. But yeah, that's something's up with it. It does feel pretty light, like maybe there's no oil in it. So I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely out of spec. Well, I had one on the truck, so this is supposed to be three. What are we getting? We're getting 2.9. See where the decimal is. So we can test this one again. Oops, it might help if I get it on the contacts. I'm getting 39. That's weird. All right, anyway, we're gonna pop this in there and see if that fixes anything. All right, so she came on. We're at 0.3 amps. Uh, 0.4 is our max, so we're right below. Ugh. Looks like it was just dead run cap. Mm. Let's see if it lights up. And we got ignition. Now, would you look at that? I'm gonna put the lid back on. the wind blows it out. So yeah, you don't need to replace a unit if you have a bad run cap on your inducer draft motor. Man, that's that's scummy, man. Really? Like a $10 part, seriously? That must be one of those places where you, uh, have, you're based on commission or something. Or the guy just honestly didn't know any better and he's just like, I don't know what's wrong with it, you need a new one. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, so keep, a, keep in mind that some inducer draft motors actually have run capacitors on them. Um, sometimes they're like, you know, like the one we changed today, but also you'll see the little black like square thing. That's a run cap. Uh, and sometimes they go bad. It's very rare that they go bad for some reason because, I mean, I don't think it's running as much as like a blower motor. And it's not a huge motor, but you always want to check those run caps, even on a PM, check them. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean the flame sensor and clean out that burner assembly, but you've seen me do it a thousand times, so I'll spare you on that. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.